to the exhausting series, CD packaging, the good and the bad. <laughs> uh, so in parts one and two, I showed a lot of box sets and mini box sets. These are, for the most part, just CDs. And I'm going to end this series with what I feel is the worst packaging of the, all of the CD, CDs that I own. So, let's see. Hawkwind, Warrior on the Edge of Time, remastered. Really nice. Really well done. This one flips up. They, they, they're always different to confuse people when they do unboxings. So disc one, and once again it's Cherry Red Records who always do superb jobs with these. We're on the edge of, when is the, a remix by, I think it's Stephen Wilson. I could be wrong, but I think it is Stephen Wilson. And then the original album remastered also. And a DVD, yeah, new stereo mixes by Stephen Wilson. So it comes with a DVD of 5.1 and a little booklet. And this is when Lemmy was in Motorhead. So, yeah, excellent. Uh, I have most of the archive, the Paul McCartney archive collection box sets, but this one I just have the, the I think it's three CDs. One is a DVD. But this was really well done. I'm happy with this. And this is the UK version of Band on the Run. So the, re the remastered Band on the Run does not include uh, Helen Wheels, trying to remember the name of it. But it is on the bonus audio, which I think is fine because I mean, Paul is from the UK, the, so the album in the UK did not have Helen Wheels on it, but it did in the States and Canada. So us Canadians and Americans remember it with Helen Wheels. And it does belong on the album, but like I said, when it came out in the UK, it wasn't on the album, so I totally get it being just on, just on the uh, extra disc. ACDC, back in black, just like the original, very well done. Classy, comes with a little booklet. That's how you do a CD, and then you don't do it this way. This one is one of my oldest CDs, it's from, it says 1971. Yeah, it doesn't, it's so bad, it doesn't even have the date of when this came out, but it must have been the first, you know, two or three years of CDs coming out. Alice Cooper, killer. With the stupid Warner Brothers on it, which wasn't on the original. And really bad packaging. Then your typical boring label. At least it has the picture inside, but it does not have the, the original vinyl had the calendar and you think they could have done something, you know, to, but instead, no, you get this crap. <laughs> now, I've got one, two, three, I think it, I think I might have more, but these are mini box sets that include five albums each, remastered, sometimes remastered, maybe sometimes not, and there's no booklet or anything or extra material, but if you want these albums cheaply for like $20, it's worth it. Roxy Music. And there's no gate folds or anything, but you know, as they always say, if if the CD box sets are that inexpensive, then you shouldn't complain. 
even though I love to complain. And Man, original album series. No booklets or anything. Just the original albums. This one had a gatefold. I used to own it on vinyl, but of course, for this, it does not. And Randy Newman, original album series. That one had a gatefold, but this one doesn't. But still. What do you want for $20 for five albums? You know the worst thing about doing this series is I have to put all of these CDs back after. <sighs> Now, Yoko Ono has a couple of, I've got more than two, but I'm just showing these two. But they're very well done. Feeling the space. I'm waiting for them to uh, do this for Season of Glass. Probably my favorite Yoko Ono album. But these are remastered. They sound great. Come with the original lyrics. The grapefruit label. That's how you do it. And a very, very classy little booklet. Approximately Infinite Universe. See, you're, you're respecting the artist when you, when you package these the way they should be packaged. Same grapefruit label. Double CD. And once again comes with a booklet with, I believe, the, the lyrics. Nice write-up. Yeah, the lyrics are on the, uh, are included with the CDs. I almost forgot. Very nice. And then I've got these two furs, which is two, you know, original albums by different artists, and they, they stick two, two albums together on I believe just one CD. No, nope, two CDs for this one. So this is Flo and Eddie, the two complete albums on two CDs. And uh, Moving Targets is excellent. If you love the Turtles, even Glenn would actually. I know he's not a big fan of Flo and Eddie in The Mothers of Invention, but this is more song-based. It's not, and there's some actually some serious songs on it. Uh, but this has the dreaded two that usually, they usually break when they're two, but so far this one hasn't. And it comes with a little tiny booklet, which is very nice. The Eric Burden Band, Sun Secrets, and Stop. Now this one is only one CD. So both albums on one CD. And I don't think it's the greatest packaging. Well, there's a little bit of a write-up, so not bad. But there's no pictures. And CLA2. I actually had, I first I had this one, CLA2 347 Eastern Standard Time. Very well done. 
And the booklet is in here, inside. But I wanted their second album, Hope, and it was, I either couldn't get it on CD or it was way too expensive, so I had to end up buying the twofer with 3.47 Eastern Standard Time and Hope, which is okay. At least I have them. CD. And a nice booklet with words in it. I think the, even these uh, Klaatu CDs are kind of expensive to buy now. And they were such a good band. They sounded just like the Beatles. Just joking. Then, I have one, two, three, four of these. There might be one or two more in there, but these are the ones I took out. And they are called The Essential. They're, they're usually really good, uh, really well done. And I have Paul Revere and the Raiders. So two CDs of a lot of their music. Once again, the dreaded double CD, but so far it hasn't broken. And a very excellent... What a surprise. Very excellent booklet. Thumbnail. That is how you honor a band. Unless they're Nickelback. <laughs> I've got, I apologize, but I have the essential Ted Nugent. Because yes, I did like his some of his early tracks. Yeah, see, this one is broken. <laughs> no, I guess no. I put it back in there. It's okay. I apologize. It's not broken. There's all of his great albums. Not m much of a booklet compared to Paul Revere, but you can't blame you can't blame them, can you? Yeah, Stranglehold, Stormtroopin', just what the doctor ordered. Motor City Madness, which is my favorite. Uh, Free for All, Dog Eat Dog, Cat Scratch Fever, Wang Dang, Sweet Puntang. I don't play the second disc. The Essential Kinks. Just gotta snap it in. There we go. Yeah, it, it is broken. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is falling apart. Just like me. Yeah, it's broken. And this one comes with a nice booklet, just like Paul Revere's. Poor Ted Nugent. <laughs> he wasn't worthy of a booklet. And one final one, the essential Sly and the Family Stone. Once again, an excellent comp compilation on two CDs. 
And so far it's in working order. And just like all the other artists, except for Ted Nugent, comes with a nice write-up. <sighs> I'm getting tired. Okay, now I've got this band, I've got four, I've got eight of their albums on four, two, on four double CDs, is what I'm trying to say. The Sensational Alex Harvey Band. My favorites are those two, The Impossible Dream and Tomorrow Belongs to Me. Live and the Penthouse Tapes, and S-A-H-B Stories, and Rock Drill. So I'll just show you one of them, my favorite, The Impossible Dream, and that's the other album, Tomorrow Belongs to Me. Two CDs. So this one opens the other way, and so far, so so far, so good. And just, you know, there's the one album cover, and there's the other album cover. So that's the way to do it. If you're going to put these together in a double CD, I don't mind that. And a nice little booklet on each four of these double CDs are very well done. I love that band photo there. So that's the sensational Alex Harvey band. We're almost near the end, almost. Oh, I've got some spark stuff. So their latest album, a steady drip, drip, drip. I have the double vinyl with the uh, picture disc, and that's really awesome. But this is the book one. Once again, the booklet inside, very well done. The only thing is, the CD is a bit of a bugger to get out. And so, you know, things like this, I can't store them in my CD rack, so they're over in the DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, Sparks Big Beat, this is when they had the uh, Island Master series a few years back, remastered. Just a plain label, kind of boring. And uh, comes with a booklet, but the thing is, the original inner sleeve. Yeah, this is what bugs me. Something like this. Big beat, you open it up, and it has the, the uh, gatefold for Sparks indiscreet. Lyrics on one side and a picture <laughs> of them with groceries on the other. So this is from the, the previous album. So it's kind of a bit silly. It comes with the lyrics, uh, a couple of bonus tracks. And the other thing is, like I said, the inner sleeve uh, would have a picture of Ron and Russell, which was similar to these, done by the famous photographer Richard Avedon. And so if I remember, I'll put it here, but it's not, you know, it's, it's missing from this one. Instead, you get the stupid picture. Well, it's not a stupid picture, but it's stupid to be part of Big Beat when this is from Indiscreet. It gets me angry and it gets me mad. And I'm not happy. <sighs> Only two hours to go. Just look. Now this one I, is another, I believe it's pretty 
hard to find and it's expensive, but I've got it. The Seduction of In Ingemar Bergman by Sparks. And it's got the textured, which is cool. And the CD. See, th this one is a little easier. There's more room and everything, so it's a little easier to take out. So, yeah. And these, this one and number one in heaven were reissued recently, remastered. Gratuitous sax and senseless violins. I think this is a this is a triple seat but once again excellent packaging. And it comes with a very very nice little booklet. and demos and everything, which are excellent. So this is the way you reissue an album on CD. Now the CDs themselves are, and once again, it's almost like I could easily rip it. They're difficult to get out. Uh, it's not, you know, you think the opening would be there for the one CD, but no, it's inside. There you go. And they're, you know, they're a tight fit. But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to complain about this one, though. One of my favorite 60s albums, Jefferson Airplane Volunteers. Excellent remaster, sounds great. The package is overall very nice. Except the original vinyl had the gatefold and it had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I thought it was so funny. And all you get here is half of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But you do get the original vinyl back is good and a nice write-up but you know they, you think they could have instead of this picture here they could have had the original gatefold but besides that little mini complaint I'm not gonna complain <laughs> nice label too so this is from 2009, Emotional Rescue. Plain, boring label. And even the booklet is, is pretty lame. So, you know, for, especially for a band like the Rolling Stones, they deserve more than this crap. Uh, Black Sabbath Technical Ecstasy, they just came out with this. With this box set, and I have Sabotage 2, Super Deluxe. I did an unboxing for it, so I won't redo all of that, but it's excellent. But the one before it, which, uh, and that one has a new remix, but this one is, is good too. It's remastered, very well done simple but
classy. It's got the original Warner Brothers label. Picture underneath the CD. And it came with a nice little booklet. So that's the way to do it. Lyrics and everything. So yeah. Wait until you see the worst one. That's coming out very soon. Uh, this one, I want this remastered, but I know there was a box set a few years ago, but it's very expensive now. But they should be re remastered individually, and so far they aren't. This one is from 1980. I think it's one of the early, like 19... in the late 80s it was released. Fear of Music. So it's very plain, very boring. I want the remaster of it. It's one of my all-time favorite albums. The booklet comes with lyrics, but it's, like I said, it's a band like Talking Heads deserves better packaging than this. <laughs> uh, th this just shows you the difference between owning a CD and, and vinyl. Now, Yes is well known for some great album covers, the ones with Roger Dean mainly. Uh, but I think, I know that Steve Howe wanted Roger Dean to do this album cover for Magnification, but I believe somebody, possibly John Anderson, wanted this instead. And on CD, it's not good. <laughs> Glenn has the vinyl and he says, it, you know, of course, it's larger, so it looks much better on vinyl, but... The album itself is amazing. If you're a Yes fan, I highly recommend you listen to their later albums, like Key Studio and Magnification, because they're excellent. And this one, it doesn't even mention it anywhere, just the, you know, the regular CD, but this one is a double. It has a bonus CD, which is excellent. Gates of Delirium from the 2000 uh, tour and Long Distance Runaround. So yeah, there's my Black Sabbath Super Deluxe box set I did an unboxing a while back. I'll reverse that so it's going the same way. But these are really well done. I'm, I'm hoping they, that they do uh, Sabbath, bloody Sabbath, soon. And before the worst pack, well, there's a couple left. So I'll do this one first. Paul McCartney, Memory Almost Full. Nothing wrong with the packaging. It's just, uh, at some point I'd like to get the regular CD of this because it's, once again, hard to, I can't store it with my regular CDs. But it comes with a bonus disc of, I think, four extra songs. But <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. No, it isn't it. There, look at that. Like, cool packaging, but, you know, to store it with your other CDs is nearly impossible. Two CDs and yeah once again it's got a little booklet inside and it's almost ripped there a tiny bit trying to get it out. Oh, it's been a while. One more CD to go before the worst packaging. This is just superb. It's one of my favorites. It's Redneck Canadian. I don't know if you've ever heard it. That's me. <laughs> this is a CD I did years ago with uh, Eric Myers doing all of the music. And I sing in a Redneck Canadian accent. It's so fun. 
late at night, my wife was asleep. Out of my bed, I did slowly creep. I made sure I didn't make one little pee. Okay, the worst CD box set I own is the great Simon and Garfunkel, the Columbia Studio Recordings, 1964-1970. Nothing wrong with the CDs. They're remastered. They sound great. <laughs> I don't even know where the CDs are, but I think they're stored. They might be in there in blank CDs, but as you can see, they would sit in these and they would be so friggin, sorry for swearing, they would be so friggin difficult to get out. It comes with a nice booklet. But the CDs, like I said, were so difficult, uh, you know, and they would kind of go against each other. So the, the packaging on this was not good. But besides that, it's an excellent box set. <sighs> Three hours later, I am done this series. I hope one or two of you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so... Just leave a comment below and maybe let me know on some CDs that you love the packaging for or hate it or whatever. Or maybe you have some of these and let me know in the comments section below. And remember, remember to thumbs up the video. I really appreciate it. And thank you for anybody out there that watched the entire series. I really appreciate it and I apologize. <laughs> Bye.